Have you ever thought about moving to Flagstaff, Arizona? Are you in a place in your life where you can work wherever you want? Or maybe you're ready to retire or you're having kids and it's time to find that perfect little place. Flagstaff is a great place to consider. It is a little bit cold here. Right now it feels like it's maybe in the 50s and it's October 2nd. We are still gonna get a couple more warm spells before the winter really hits. But as you can see behind me, there's so many beautiful fall colors. You're gonna get all the four seasons here in Flagstaff. It's a very small town. Um, we're kind of remote. We're two hours away from Phoenix. And that's where our Costco's and our Trader Joe's and our main airport is. But we do have a smaller airport right here in town. Today I'm on the west end of town in a neighborhood called Ponderosa Trails. And our airport is within a mile of our neighborhood. It's very small. It only goes out of, it only flies out a couple times a day. Um, it mostly connects through Phoenix, but I think there's direct flights to possibly Denver and Dallas and a couple other places. I personally like to go down to Phoenix for my flying because there's just so many more options and it usually ends up being cheaper in my head. It ends up being cheaper. But when I add in the gas and parking at the airport, it's probably not. <laughs> but I can't get over it because it seems like it's a, such a good deal. All right, so this first home that we are coming to is 875,000. Four bed, three bath, and 2,500 square feet. Looks like there's a little backyard there. It has some really nice outdoor space. This is a, um, a fire pit that they have. They also have a nice deck right out in front, and I think they have more backyard space as well. And I also really like that garage door. That's so pretty. This is what the street looks like. Um, so if you want to be really warm all the time, this is probably not the place for you. But if you don't mind having jackets on for maybe four to six months of the year, this is a great place. I'm going to show you a couple more houses today, all within this neighborhood. Let's go look around. All right, this next home we're coming to is beautiful. It's 950,000. It's four bed, three bath, and 2,300 square feet. And it does back up to the forest and it is amazing in that backyard. Look how beautiful this home is. You can see the backyard over there. I like this curved window area. And then the front door has this fun design on it too. You also have a really big garage over here or driveway, two-car garage, but it looks like you could definitely park extra things over here. Maybe even you could pull a boat in there or an RV or something, some type of trailer. And then if you look through the back, that's all national forest back there. So you're not going to have any neighbors behind you except for some wild animals. Did you know that they just found like a jaguar in Southern Arizona, they found it on one of those game cameras. Um, and I think there's always been like this, like a Mexican legend about this specific Jaguar and they finally caught it. They haven't seen one since 2017. And then they just saw another one, which is really cool. But we don't have those up here. We do have bears, which we've actually seen them in this neighborhood before, um, but they haven't become like such a nuisance that I've heard any trouble with it, except for a man did get eaten by a bear in Prescott. May his soul rest in peace. Um, but it doesn't happen often. For the most part, we have squirrels, birds, um, uh, what are they called? Javelina. Those, you will see those every once in a while. I see them down south a little bit more like in Sedona and Prescott. They tend to just be roaming around the neighborhoods. Whereas in this part of town, every once in a while, somebody on like next door neighbor app will talk about those animals. We have lots of deer, we have lots of elk. Um, but yeah, nothing that's going to be too harmful to you or to your children. Here's some more 
greenbelt area. Look at these beautiful trees. They're so pretty. Okay, let's go see one more house. Okay, so this last home that we are coming to is 925,000. It's four bed, two and a half bath, and it's 2,700 square feet. And look at those beautiful trees. Isn't that just amazing? All of these red maples are so beautiful. I definitely need to plant some of these maple trees. They also remind me of my dad who just passed away last year, and those were his favorite trees. And I have to say, they're probably my favorite tree too. Look at them just like standing out, showing off. Um, those beautiful blue Arizona skies you're going to see all the time up here. We can have a few rainy days. We have a monsoon season in the summer times where it'll get really hot in the morning and then in the afternoons the clouds roll in. This year it was mostly in August. Sometimes I feel like we usually get monsoon in July, but this year it seemed to be a little bit later, but it definitely came through for us. And we didn't have any forest fires this summer, which is also great. I think we have a really great um, national forest team and firefighters that just stay on top of keeping our forests where they need to be, which is wonderful. They do prescribed burns, so sometimes you'll get smoke just from that, um, but it's better to be from a prescribed burn than from a wildfire burning people's homes down. Uh, okay, so that is all that I have for you guys today. Three homes in the beautiful Ponderosa Trails area. These are a little bit more expensive homes. The homes are really set further apart. In the newer parts of town, the homes are the same price, but they're kind of stacked on top of each other and you have zero backyard, no outdoor space at all. So if you're looking for having neighbors but not being too close to them, this is a great place. If you're looking to have several acres, in the same price range, there is a neighborhood in town where I can show you as well. It has horse property, all sorts of like farm animals are allowed out there as well. So I will be making one of those videos coming up. Don't forget to like and subscribe my page so you don't miss any videos and have a great day. Bye.